the storyboard is proving quite popular with uh, clients and uh, so one of the requests that came back was to give the ability to manage storyboards in other words the initial uh, install only gave you one storyboard format but our clients are coming back and asking to be able to create multiple storyboards so depending on the area they're working with they can have uh, uh, unique storyboard layouts for each area. Uh, this has been added and you can see here in the Video Timer Pro module and if I go over to the line balancing you will find it's also been added in here. So we're going to look at how you can manage multiple storyboards uh, in within Timer Pro. So we click on the Manage Storyboards and there will always be one in here called Storyboard. This is the default and this you will not be able to delete. So we're going to create a new one here so just click on the new one give it a name. So I'm going to call it, let's say, QC Audit. And then I'm just going to click on the OK. It will bring up the default one in the background. So you go here, you'll see, if we go to the storyboard, this is the default one, which of course you can change any way you want. I'm just going to add a label in here for the QC Audit. So just so we know that it's different here. So I'm going to say QC Audit. And I might want to make it uh, bold, let's say, and make it bigger. Let's say we go to like, uh, that's good, like 20 there. So I've just added this particular label into my uh, storyboard here. So I'm just going to save it now. I do a file and just click on the save. It's saving as an XLTM, so just be sure that it's saved that way. If you're not sure, you can go to File and you go to Save As and it should come up with the XLTM format here. But that's the default. You should be able to just click on the Save here. So now we want to use this here. So I close out of it. You can see it's listed here. So I click on the OK. I now want to use it. I go to Storyboard, Create New. It gives me the choice of what storyboard I want to use. Click on the QC Audit. Select the task you want to work with. I'm going to do the Insert Components in the far right here. I click on that. Click on the OK. And it will generate the storyboard for me. And then if you go to the Storyboard Sheet, you'll see it's using the QC Audit one right here, the one that we just developed here. So using the Manage Storyboard option, you can add any number of storyboards that you, to your own particular needs for the different areas you might be supporting.